NFT gas fees explained. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you about gas fees, how they work. So let's just jump into it. So first things first, I'm over here on to open season. I'm going to go ahead and create an account. I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to, you know, show you how, you know, a gas fee occurs and what does that mean? So I'm just going to go ahead and import my wallet over here and I'm going to add in my security phase and I will enter in my password and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So as you can see, I've signed in. All I have to do is click on uh congratulations done and there we go we have signed in onto our metamask wallet account now let me just go back and, and reload this page and just choose the wallet yes choose metamask wallet it'll pop up and all you have to do is just simply click on next and connect and there we go now that is that's done let's go ahead and create an nft i'm just gonna go ahead and skip through these parts maybe you know do it faster a little bit so that i get to the main part of the video so over here i'm just gonna go ahead and add this and i'm gonna choose ethereum because this is the ethereum now this is the main part okay so what that basically means is that we have two blockchains over here. So we have Ethereum and we have Polygon. Now, if you choose Ethereum, you will have to pay a gas fee. Now, if you don't know what a gas fee is, it's basically a transactional fee that it has to occur that you have to pay. So if I come over here onto the OpenSea's Home Center over here, gas fees are transaction fees on the Ethereum. It does not receive these fees and is not able to refund them. So there you go. So basically, we also go over two categories of these fees. Basically, if it's a one-time fee and a recurring fee. So there you go. As you can see, gas fees are like a you know transactional fee that you have to pay so if you choose ethereum you have to pay that gas fee and if you don't know how much gas fee that is you can come over onto ethereum gas tracker over here and you will see you will come over here onto the etherscan.io and over here you will see the gas tracker and over here right now the gui is pretty high so as you can see it's 112 gui which is like 58 dollars so you have to pay like a high end of 58 dollars to actually pay but i would recommend if you pay like a little bit more than what you are intended so if it says like 58 you gotta pay like 68 or 70 because that way as you can see it fluctuates so even if it goes a little bit high then you even if it goes a little bit high you still have paid a little extra so you don't get blocked in so what that basically means is that if you are buying an nft right if you are buying an nft you will have like these types of lists so let's just say that this is an nft and this is a person who is buying the nft this is a list of all the persons who are buying the nft you will be in order of how much money that you have paid so if you pay a higher fee you will be higher end but let's just say that if you didn't pay the higher fee you paid like exactly 58 you are somewhere in the middle and a as soon as the goye goes up the gas fees goes up you since you have paid little and other people have paid more you will get, go back down to the list and that way you might end up not buying the nft at all and you would have wasted your money so this way if you pay a little extra like 10 or 20 dollars extra even if it goes up you are still in the good position to buy the nft so that's how it basically works when you choose ethereum you have to pay the gas fees but if you choose polygon you don't have to pay the gas fees so that's how they basically works now if you choose ethereum you will only have to pay the gas fees twice that is basically it it is like twice after that you don't have to pay it so if i come over here onto their help center over here they can see we have one-time fees and we have recurring fees so as we mentioned in the buff there are a few one-time fees you'll have to pay when using ethereum from time to time so first is the account registration fees okay suppose you've never sold an ft on an open seas before in that case you will need to pay an account initialization fee before you can list an ethereum so which is like you know a, a small fee that you have to pay number two is the token or contract approval and that is basically one you have to pay and then you have these recurring fees down below so these are some of the recurring fees that on ethereum that you have to pay so these are the accepting an offer transaction or gifting an nft to someone buying an nft canceling a listed nft canceling a bid w eth back to eth and vice versa freezing your metadata and bridging ethereum or withdrawing ethereum to end from polygon so as you can see these are some of the recurring gas fees that you have to pay whatever you do and then down below is the gas free action so minting a new nft aka lazy minting creating a collection listing an nft listing an nft on auction and reducing the price of an ethereum you listed so these are some of the gas fee gas free actions that you can do that you don't have to pay any fees whatsoever so 
it's pretty amazing so these are some of the things that you can do so if you choose polygon you don't have to pay any gas fees but since polygon network isn't as stable as ethereum then a couple of things then and it's not as popular as well so you don't won't have to so you can't make a lot of money on polygon and your nft might be sold a little bit later than when you are on ethereum but if you're on ethereum you have to pay like two time recurring fee which can be anything between 50 to 100 dollars or even higher because it all depends on the GUI. so right now as you can see the GUI has dropped down a little bit and as you can see it just went up again so it's always up now there is a thing called gas wars now when does those occur so let's just say that a big big nft artist is about to drop a really really popular and a really really limited edition uh, collection of nfts now everyone will want those nfts and hundreds and, and everyone will pay it when that happens everyone since wants that specific nft and people are like buying in and throwing money at them what that basically means is that then the gray will go up like uh, i think about a couple of months ago when there was a new drop for the ape nfts i think at that time the gray was pretty high and you would have to pay somewhere around 200 to 250 dollars worth of gas fees so as you can see it's pretty insane so gas wars are really really crazy you don't know what to do you can't predict them so the best thing that you can do is just pay a little extra than the way that is listed over here so that is my only tip that can actually work so that's how you know gas fees basically work if there is a lot of traffic on the ethereum network then you will have to pay gas fees so first so like this like i chose the ethereum network right i click on create an nft right as you can see it has been created now if i go over here into the selling part of the nft so as you can see i will have a fixed price and i will have a timed auction whichever one i choose so i'm going to choose like this right forty dollars complete listing right wait a couple of seconds for the uh, transaction to go through my wallet as you can see we have to pay the initializing wallet so over here as you can see i don't have any funds so as you can see the gas fee is right now a hundred dollars which is insane so i'm selling a nft for 50 to four for 42 dollars right but i have to pay a hundred dollars as a gas fee for the transaction to go through so as you can see it's pretty nuts but if i you know go back and i change the blockchain right so if i change the blockchain to polygon right then i won't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever so let me just go ahead and do that let me just show you blah 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 as you can see i've chosen polygon right here but I can't create any collection or timed auction or stuff like that but i can change the supply to whatever i want and, and it costs no gas whatsoever click on create wait a couple of seconds yeah it's done let's go ahead and click on sell and over here just enter in the amount so it can be like let's just say 15 again 42 dollars complete listing over here all i have to do is sign the message this one was for the premium one let me just go ahead and click on complete listing again click on sign it's loading again that was the previous message for ethereum so as you can see no gas fee whatsoever no gas fee i click on sign right nft has been listed and it's ready to be sold there we go no gas fee whatsoever and it's pretty simple so these are some of the things that you need to know about gas fees and stuff like that and if i cancel it i won't have to pay a gas fee either so it's pretty simple but if you are on ethereum then you might have to pay a little bit of transaction fee but that's basically it that is all the things that you needed to know about gas fees occurs when there is a lot of traffic on the ethereum network and you have to pay a little bit extra how many times do you have to pay gas fees you only have to pay it twice the first two times and after that you don't have to pay it and after that the uh, buyer will have to pay the gas fees the seller won't have to so these are the things that you needed to know about so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and having said that if you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment in the descriptions down below i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible and leave a like subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications as well and having said that thank you guys for watching and until the next time thank you and goodbye